and they did it w one little tiny step but after another little tiny step as they enforced all their regulations to stop Jews from mixing with Gentiles, it did look different. Uh, the benches in the park had signs on them that said no Jews. Um, stores had signs that said no Jews. Trolley cars. So the, you didn't see people going in and out of the synagogues anymore because you know the people weren't there anymore. Had there been any Nazi propaganda at all before? Oh, when? Up until this time or bef just the before? The minute they walked in, they began with the propaganda. I think that's what I said a little while ago. They started this education propaganda campaign uh, to set the, uh, the Dutch against the Jews. They made all the movie theaters show a movie called De Ewe The Eternal Jew. And uh, we, one of our Jewish sociology teachers told us to go and see it. And we went, which the Jews could still go to the movies at that point. And we looked at the movie and we sat and laughed and made smart remarks all the way through and disagreed with everything they said. But that when we came out, uh, a Gentile friend said to me, I wish I hadn't seen that movie because now for the first time I have a feeling of them and us. They've, they, I now look at, and he pointed to the Jewish kids that were walking a, you know, a few steps away, he said it's them and they're not us and I don't like it. I'm going to help them as much as I can, but it shows that even with people who want to resist propaganda, it still has an effect.